Mum, it's me. I've had that fucking GP calling me again. Ring him, will ya? He says the test he did show you're not drinking enough water. <laughs> Fuck up your mother. Look, I know we always get together on Dad's anniversary, but the bank's fucking me around. I can't get any cash out, so I've got to go down and speak to him. Any chance of lending us a few quid until I get it sorted? Anyway, I guess I'll try later. Thinking about the old man. Five years, eh? Christ, where did that go? Come on, man, you're taking up my bike. Am I getting up my bike back, man? Hey. Yeah. Oh, hey. Where are you going? Where are you going, girl? Fancy ride? Fancy ride? Oh, come on, don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, what's your name? What's your name? Oi. Oi, I'm Oi. talking to you. I'm talking to you, you deaf or something. Oi. Man, Oh, oh, here we go again. We're going to start crying. Is that it? What's wrong with you? Huh? What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? I'm going that way, and you're going that way. Right? No, I don't need to calm down at all. Just, no, leave me alone. Last bunch of roses, just to tell her. Go on, show someone you care. Bargain. Oh. All right, my love. What can I get you? Nice bunch of tulips for a tenner. How about a fiver? <laughs> Wish I could, my love. Tenner's best I can do. How much are those? What? I don't want those, darling. They're going home. I'll give you two quid. <laughs> I won't last long, but you're the boss. Judith, I saw you, so I thought I might as well come over. We haven't seen you down at the club. Not since Christmas. You poor thing. I said to Pat earlier, I said, I don't know how she does it, because I would be lost without my Desmond. Judith Christ, don't send you in donkeys. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't even think about it today. <laughs> Time flies by, I tell you. Seems like only yesterday we used to own this town, me, Fred and the boys. He'll be turning in his grave, seeing who's buying up everything now. I'll do recognise the place. Yeah. He was a real man of a manor. Fred was a good man, a family man, yeah. I learnt a lot from him. And his dad, I did. Every fucking week, you and your pole butter fingers. That's coming out your wages, you fucking hear me? Oh, clear it up!
And further, submit to one another out of reverence of Christ. Wives should submit to their husbands as if to the Lord. A husband is the head of his wife like Christ is head of the church. That is, the saviour of the body. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy and to present her to himself as radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. You know what, love? I feel more and more relieved every year 